Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a frame around a podcast episode like this or a video interview, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I did this one from a Zoom episode. I've done them in the past as well. I'm just going to show you really quick so you know that it's an option. If you use Riverside, you can actually download two different video files and you can build it like this as well. And that looks slightly different and it's a lot easier. Um, you can just put squares behind and then layer the videos over. But I know that a lot of people use Zoom and to get this effect with kind of the same, okay, I'm gonna delete this and I'll just show you. So we have here the Zoom call and you want that effect. So what we're gonna do is first go into uploads. I've already uploaded the Zoom recording that I did, but if you haven't, you just click upload file, click the video that you wanna do, and you're gonna to wanna to press open. I'm not gonna do that because we're gonna be here 10 years, but I'm gonna drag the episode in then. There we go. Pause it so I don't have to hear my own voice. Awesome. Okay, and then extend it out like that to start. And you can see now we have the base for adding shapes. So to build out the frame, you're gonna to want to add shapes and you might have the shapes here, but if you don't, you can search up here, the word square. Okay, it's all caps, so it's screaming. <laughs> I feel like it's screaming at me, but that's okay. Um, and then what you wanna do is you just want to adjust the shape. You can just drag it. And then you see now we have that side frame and I'm just going to change it to black and then copy and paste it. So that's control Z, control V. Someone's gonna be like, why is she telling me how to copy and paste? But just in case, you know, um, you can also press duplicate up here, which will just do the same thing. And then the other thing that I like to do is I like to cover up the names at the bottom. So I'm again gonna drag this across. And this is also useful to know, like if you're gonna do a different color, you're gonna have to build out the whole thing. So even though it's in black, I'm just gonna build out the whole thing to show you. So let's change this to pink, just to show you. So you can see now that you've got that space as well in the back with the video. So I'm gonna duplicate it one more time and just stick it up there. And you can see, you can see that there's a little bit of video showing on the side. So I've just extended it to make sure that that's all covered up. Now, the next thing that you want to do is you want to go over here to text. You can use these te text templates, which are nice, but I'm just going to add simple text to show you because this is what I normally do. So text here, title, you just type in your title. I don't really know if you can see the white. So obviously, okay, yeah, that looks fine. Um, and then you can change the color up here. So if I wanted to make it black, I could do that. If I want to change the font, I come up here, change it to your brand font. You can search it as well. And then what I like to do is I like to add names underneath the video in the same font. So I'm going to do what I just did there again in one second, just in case you missed it. So what I did was I went like this. I press duplicate. And then I made it smaller and I brought it over here. And then I retyped in my name. I'm gonna replace it here just because if I duplicate it from here and then I drag it over, these two are the same size. Now, what you need to do here is you need to lock down this element so you can move the text without the frame moving. So how you do that is you make sure that only this is selected and you press lock. Then you go over here and you press lock as well. Like I just want to lock down this frame. So all of these different pieces, I am hitting lock. Okay, and now what we can do is we can align this text. So you just, you drag your mouse like that. You go position, middle, and then they will be even because if they're not even, it looks really bad. <laughs> not to be mean, it looks bad. So if you then put this in the center, I like to put my website down here or social handle, why not? And then if you have a logo, you can put it here. 
if you have a Canva brand kit, my logo is easily accessible. But then if not, what you can do is you can go uploads, upload a file, and you can upload, um, you can upload a picture of your logo. So let's just, this is not a logo at all. This is gonna be a random picture, but you can see you can just upload photos and then make it small, put it in the side. And so that's pretty much the basis for how I got this. If you want to do, if you see these little frames on the top and the bottom, there are a few ways that you can do that. The way that I find easiest, just in terms of I've already built the frame around this, is I make this small and then I just drag this out and then I duplicate this so that way it's the same size for everything. And I put this on the bottom, again, duplicate it, bring it over to this other frame, duplicate it again. Mm, one line. Okay, and then if you wanna put it on the side, again, I just I'm going to duplicate it. It's kind of repetitive, but this is how you do it. And you make it skinny on the side, drag it out to your desired length. You just need to make sure that it lines up. So I'm just going to get a bit closer here. Oh my gosh. There. Okay, let's click off just to see what it looks like. Okay, yeah, that looks even to me. Oh my gosh, hi. Okay, and then I'm gonna duplicate it again. Bring it over here. Again, just make sure it's aligned with that side. Duplicate it again. Bring it over here. Okay, and then it's already duplicated enough times, but we gotta duplicate it one more. So duplicate it the last time, bring it over, and bam, you've built out your frames. You probably got where I was going with that like two minutes ago, but then you can just change the color. That looks like Barbie. I like it. Okay, and then somehow this, if you notice that things get in front, then you can just layer it backwards. Somehow this got pushed to the front. But that is how you build out frames and you can put your video interviews in like that.